Well, never done this before. Electric motor repair. Uh, let's get into it and see what happens. What kind of motor it is? It's a Durer. Durer. And uh, comes off a Craftsman air compressor. 30 years old. Stinking Craftsman. My stuff is only lasting 30 years, if you can believe that nonsense. <laughs> Just kidding. So, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is. I guess the first thing I should do is try to remove this pulley. Yeah, I do have the right tools. Just not down here in the basement. Universal sockets. See if I got one small enough. Oh yeah. This is a spline socket. I don't know if you can see it. But it does square. That's 12 point spline. It's supposed to do like six. I don't remember what all six of them are. Ah uh, yeah. Very nice. Five sixteens. I'm gonna put it, put in my impact driver. So you can see what I'm doing from the other side. Exactly how these come apart. I'm pretty sure. I do know this much though, capacitors hold the charge. This has been sitting for about three, two or three weeks without any electricity to it, so the charge has dissipated by now, I'm sure. Put my life on the line for that. Alright, so you can see that the electrical connection is on the right side of the capacitor. That's on the left side. You can see the front and the back. This is the back of the motor, this is the pulley side of the motor. I do not know much about electric motors, but I know that this is like some kind of a starter. The capacitor starts it, but this engages and causes the motor to get giddy up and go. And that mechanism looks good to me. Circuit breaker. 
comes off. I'll just put those screws right back in. The motor goes out that way. I say the motor, that's probably the armature. See, that seems to work really nice. It's a smooth connection. So I'm going to set that gently because I don't want to break the plastic fan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look inside. Oh, yeah. See, there's burning in there. See how, uh, see how dark that is there? Some of that insulation has burned. I guess it's worth a $15 investment in the uh, capacitor. So let's just take the capacitor off. See anything actually holding it in? <laughs> I'm just entertained by this. So what was holding this in was the uh, rubber bands. It was pressed in with these rubber bands, and the rubber bands just kind of held it in place. That is entertaining. There's a insulator here. That would be for the electrical end of the... So the capacitor is a 594 microfarad, 110 volt AC. Okay, since there's a... Uh, not nothing obvious wrong with the motor, although it might have a, a burned out um, winding. I can't tell, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together and go ahead and order the capacitor. So let me take another picture of the capacitor here. And let's measure the capacitor. And I don't know how much shipping is, but they're only like $4 a piece. Just thinking, is there anything I missed? I made sure that the wires were clear. Of course, the wires were not attached to anything on the inside. They were just floating free. I don't understand that exactly, but... Again, nothing to really indicate, which is green side up. <laughs> it's an old joke, you green side up. Really not sure what to do here exactly, because apparently I don't have that bearing in my way. I think what I need to do is do like that. Give myself a soft hammer, hammer with rawhides in it. Oh yeah, one in further. Nice, nice enough. We got some tools. Plenty of clearance there. Took the bolts out, so it doesn't matter. Well, something ain't right. Well, that's definitely all the way on. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you saw it. 
had it almost there, just not quite the first time. I think these hold the wires back. You know what I mean? What I was just doing was there's wires inside and apparently they're held around the outside away from all the moving parts with these bolts which have, which have just a little gap. So I was making sure that the gap was there. So the gap was there. Or maybe I should more accurately say the wires are contained around the outside of the bolting system. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If it doesn't, it should. Spins. Those are captive. Now we wait for the capacitor. Capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> 